Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is The Long Dark and we are here at our interloper playthrough once again continuing the series. I believe we are in the coastal highway region of the world. We're inside one of the little cabins. At, I think it's like the whaling area or whatever. Well I'll show you guys here in the morning but it is late night. I've got my lantern lit so we're not just starting the episode here in a black room but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I don't need it on currently just wasting a little bit of fuel but you can see it is pitch black nighttime the sun is down and I am very tired now the only concern I have well I got a lot of concerns but the number one concern is food I've been trying to push it to get the well-fed bonus which honestly I think was kind of a mistake I think I'm, I'm probably not good enough or at least knowledgeable enough of where all like the deer kills are and stuff because I think that's one of the things I probably should have done was look for a few easy Easy and quick deers, you know, those pre-killed ones, the ones that are like left scattered here and there for you. If I had found a few of those, and it's still not out of the realms of possibility, but you can see I'm down to two cans of food, and just as a side note, I do not have a can opener, so we are smashing cans for the moment, but um, let's just proceed. It is morning. You know, I think I'm just going to, God, we're so close to it. I feel like one more day, and I'll probably get the well-fed bonus, but I just won't be able to maintain it. I don't know. I'm, I'm considering just saying, screw it, let's not worry about it, but... Well, let's at least drink here. All right, it's time for bed. Okay. Well, it looks like we can get about eight hours here without going too far into our calories. We won't go over. I'll still have a couple of hundred left, so let's sleep. That'll be good to recover some of that lost health. I've been maintaining the health pretty well. I think that's probably a part of that is because I have been eating well. Yeah, look at my calories. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, I might just, I think I'm just going to go into starvation mode. Yeah, oh, I'm out of water too. Ooh. Uh, we got a cup of coffee and herbal tea that I've found. I so far haven't gotten any of the actual packages. We just picked these up along the way. But one good news is that my fire, the matches, where am I at? There they are. I've, I've found like four or five packs. So I've got 58 matches. And. I mean, since they've actually changed the loot locations in Interloper for, like, guaranteed match spawns are no longer a thing, I feel pretty lucky here with this. But, um, all right, so we might as well eat something. I'm not going to go back to bed here with a lack of calories. That's just not a smart move. So we'll smash open our dog food. Yeah, it wasn't much, was it? And I'm not worried about the tea. We'll, we'll drink the coffee in the morning, maybe. So, ah, uh, oops. I do need to start a fire at some point, don't I? Let's uh, let's check here. I've got nine torches, so torch-wise, I'm kind of okay. But I think just I need to make some water. You know what? We're headed to the houses up there in the hill, um, Misanthrope's Cottage and Jackrabbit Island. So I think that those places have toilets with water. So I won't worry too much about boiling anything. But uh, there's a couple more hours. Is the sun up? Just close enough. Yes, yeah, so the sun is technically up right now. Even though it doesn't appear so. But for like the purposes of clothing and stuff, we can actually repair. If I had a repair kit, we could. But one thing I can do is probably read a little bit. Uh, let's just step outside real quick to see what it's like out here. If it's nice enough, I'm just going to head straight over to the... Mm, Pretty dark out here, isn't it? Temperature is very low. All right, we'll pop back inside. Like I said, I can still I can read at this point, so it's not a big deal. Let's see, what do we want to go for first? Do we have a camp? Yeah, we've got our wilderness kitchen. Let's use this just an hour at a time. And this is actually quite good because one of the perks I've got with this guy is, I believe, yeah, the reading perk right there. You know what's cool too is I think I unlocked a new one during this playthrough, so I'm pretty excited to check that out, see what that is. But, um, I mean, I, I'm going to push this one as long as I can, no doubt about it. All right, it's still pretty cold out here, but at least I can see. Is that a deer? I'm pretty sure that's a deer over there. This area can easily be infested with wolves, but I think we're okay. Let's move out. I don't want to stand here losing temperature too long. So we've already searched over there. Looks like a feather. Um, I had a couple ideas planned, like for what route I wanted to take around here, and 
where I wanted to loot first. I think as it stands with this water, we, we just have to make a beeline for some of these houses over here. So that's where I'm headed now. Maybe we can check this fishing hut though. No food. Always good to take a look at these boats. So I, you always find, not always, but you definitely find stuff in the boats. All right, so let's see here. Uh-oh, we got a pup coming at us. Get inside the hut real quick. I think we're safe inside the hut. Might be wrong about that, but... Ooh. Take that. I didn't even see that stupid wolf. Where did he come from? All right, so let's just... Oh, Christ. Um, we got one flare. Now, see, he turned around. All right, we go, we just going to beeline it. I thought he was on me again. I'm going to beeline it here, stand up, and just run from him in a second. Let's get it, gain a little bit more distance. He's still pretty close. But I guess I could head for that other fishing shack right there. Might as well. Then at that, I haven't hit any other fishing shacks except for that one right there. So we've got to go to each one, that far one. And then I, is there one more really far out there? I think there might be. Oh uh, yeah, look at my food. Uh, we're about to, we're about to lose all hope for the well-fed bonus, but it's all right. Just, just a bit other than that, other than that early mistake. I think this has been a fairly good playthrough. Hey, check that out. All right, screw it. We'll drink that. Get out of here, dog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that animals can't attack you inside these fishing huts. Oops. I didn't mean to take that. Yeah, I don't really want to carry this paper around with me. I'm trying to really keep it nice and slim here, just in terms of what I'm carrying with me. Really? You're going to make a liar out of me and attack me, bro? I think it sounded like you might be on, on a deer or something. Where'd you go? Look, he ran away. Weird. All right, let's just move. I got plenty of sprint. It's early in the morning, so I could take a nap if I lose too much energy. But we need to get inside. I don't want to lose a bunch of health here. Plus, there's a potential for some food up in this house, so... All right, let's see. Still don't... Oh, there's another dog. I still don't have a hacksaw either. So if I come across some saplings or something, it's going to be a little disappointing because I'm pretty sure there's like a potential sapling spawn right in one of these little islands here. But anyway, just thought I'd mention it. If you are wondering why I'm not actively trying to get saplings, that's the reason. I did find a pr pry bar though, so I'm happy about that. Pretty steep terrain. I'm gonna take it slow. No more sprinting. Okay, beautiful. So we did already, if you guys are just tuning in, we've covered about half of this map, I'd say. I did go up to the top of, what's it called, Signal Hill? No, that's Pleasant Valley. Where is it? Where's that lookout? The big red building on the hill. We visited that previously, so we've looted a good part of the the map, but I, I still need to backtrack over there to the Misanthropes Island too, but that's okay. We'll get all this area covered. In fact, I know in the olden days, before they changed the loot tables, there was a possible Maglin spawn behind one of these little islands. I think it was this one. It might be the other one, but we'll, we'll check for that too. There's like a corpse that can spawn just on the other side, like right between the island and the ocean there, the lake or whatever it is. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't need, and again, I recently read that they have changed the loot tables in interlopers, so they're different now. Can't rely on their old knowledge. Here we are. Let's get into that kitchen. Oh, nice. I've definitely seen a lot more of those blue flares in my most recent playthroughs in the olden days, <laughs> which is granted like last year since I played. I didn't see a lot of those. Okay, let's get in here. I need some food if I actually want to keep this well fed going. Yeah, I should have probably waited until I was able, you know, got my forging done and stuff like that before I really thought about a well-fed bonus, but 
Yeah, who knows? I just I got overconfident. That's what it was. Ah, look at that. Dang. Man, this has been the run. So, God, even if I do lose the food bonus potential, I'm still real happy with this one. All right, another soda. I'll go ahead and drink that. Get, get some good calories out of those sodas. We're just barely hanging on to this food potential. All right, let's see here. I'm honestly a little surprised it hasn't already kicked in, but... Oh well. Uh, another can of food and no can opener. Okay. Anything? What am I missing here? Okay, I need pants. God, I don't have any outer layers. That's nuts. That's completely crap. I'll take a freaking vest right now, please. Man, we've been holding up pretty well out there, considering. I debated on going to Pleasant Valley, too. I probably should have. Had it headed over to Pleasant Valley and just done a full sweep of the map. Including the airplane, which often has a lot of good clothes. I mean, we're still going to, but it's just a question of, do I do that now? Or do I do it after we've done our forging run and stuff? But the good news is we still have like all of Mystery Lake to loot, including the dam, which is pretty extensive, so... Although, not a lot of clothing drops in the dam, I might say. But who knows? There's some lockers there. Anyway, that's it for this building. So, let's head on to the next island, I guess. Is that it? I feel like I didn't search everything, but I think we did, yeah. Alright, we'll top off on our wa Oops. On our water. Very good. And let's pop outside, see what the next island looks like. Okay, well, I'm down here behind the island... And, whoa, I don't see any birds. If there was a corpse over there, there would be birds. So, I'm thinking that's a no-go for any mag lens drops. What the hell, man? There's a lot of stuff right here. Stick. Uh, what is that? A cattail? Oh, we'll take that for sure. I'll take the claw. All right, interesting. God, am I super weighted down now? I feel real sluggish. What is going on? I must be walking against the wind at the moment. But um, here we are. That was a nice little loot drop there. Thank you. Thank you, Ocean. Mother Ocean. Poseidon. Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. Sometimes there's some stuff you can loot on these little islands. I don't see anything. No corpses. Nothing. Alright, so we're headed to the fish. Fishing hut. I believe I've still got to loot that one right there and that one out there in the distance. So, my plan is to... Whoa, really? My plan is to hit this fishing hut and then Misanthrope's, you know, cabin up there. And then we'll probably loop back around and get those other two fishing huts. But I might need to take a little nap or something just to fully warm up, you know. I don't want to keep coming out here and, and getting hypothermic. Now, that's interesting. There's some birds on that island. I wonder what that's about. Come on, give me some foodie. Food, food, food. Or a can opener. Oh, look at that. Tucked away over there. That's gorgeous, dude. That's the first one I've found. I needed that so badly. Alright, let's get inside. I'm going to slow walk it. Actually, do I have any food I can eat? Uh, no, I'm not going to bust those open right now. We're going to save those. Okay, here we are at the Misanthropes homestead or cabin or whatever. Uh, there it is, homestead. That's what I thought. All right, we'll go inside, start to warm up. I think there's a few edibles around here I can harvest, but uh, let's just see. Ooh, it's a little bit dark. I'm going to try and get through this without using any light sources, though, so just bear with me here. It's best if we do it that way. Anything down here? You know, I should probably... God, we just don't have the food for it. I was going to say, I should probably spend a night here and, like, uh, repair all my clothes that I just, you know, with that uh, sewing kit that I just found. Because that would be amazing. I could probably end up using that whole kit up if I'm really determined. But 
because uh, once we leave this place, now remember, I don't have the sleeping roll. So the only other spot we're going to stop at is like right near the exit on the way to Mystery Lake. There's a little cabin I'm going to probably sleep at. Ooh, ooh, that was a good cabinet. Nice. Oh, so I did end up eating another can of the peaches. So we're still on track for a well-fed bonus if I get lucky. I'm shocked it hasn't kicked in yet. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe they've changed the mechanics. Oh my god, I hope not. We'll see. So much has changed about this game. There's acorns now. That's right, acorns. But I haven't gone through like any acorn harvesting. I did spot some in a previous playthrough. Oh! I think I already have some of those, don't I? Jeez, you know what? These things weigh a half of a pound. I'm not going to keep two things of them. And I always forget about them. Alright, let's see here. I should probably use them more because I imagine they make life so much easier. Okay. That's it. Kitchen pretty sparse. Sometimes you'll find like a can opener in here. No. Alright, let's go upstairs. Stand up, dude. There you go. Just double check in, making sure. So dark. So dark. Okay. It's a little depressing. <laughs> Being in a dark house, so quiet, nothing going on. Just scavenging the la the remains. What are the previous occupant happen to leave behind? But such is life here in the quiet apocalypse. I'll take the book. I'm gearing up for another big fire. I've got a bunch of sticks, which is good, and a few pieces of coal, but let's see here, actually, let's just look. Two pieces of coal, three pieces of cedar, some of this, and 43 sticks. Jesus, I didn't realize I had that many. How much weight have I had? I'm just, I'm still not carrying very much, so it's good and bad. It's good and bad. Okay, our warmth has gone up quite a bit. Make sure I don't miss anything here in these dark corners. Okay, let's see, what time is it? I, I do want to spend some time repairing clothing here, too. I wasn't just talking. We're definitely going to do that. Maybe not the whole thing, like I said, but to the worst of it, for sure. Alright, so this house is searched. Let's see. Okay, now I'm over my weight limit. That's okay, though. Let's get back downstairs. Yeah, I searched it all. Man, kind of disappointing, huh? But what do you expect? It's interloper. All right, let's see what we're working with. These are 63. I'm going to put this one on instead. There we go. Um, ooh, yeah, okay. Let's take that off. Repair, please. Good, good. Um, 58. I want to repair it again. I don't know how much cloth we have, but we've got... There's plenty here. Damn it. Yeah, it's not cloth I'm worried about. It's the little repair kit thing, the sewing kit. Mm. These are 96%. Well, we're not actually that bad, are we? Repair this, and then our gloves, and I think we're good. Look, my heat, my oh, my warmth is totally refilled. Definitely gonna lose that bonus if I don't eat again been whining about that forever let's take those off and hold on oh there it is well fed baby damn it hold on all right screw it i'm smashing i'm smashing folks i'm gonna take a drink of coffee as we wait for the peaches hope everybody out there is staying hydrated mm. only 19 percent lost on that little extravaganza there could be some food in the fishing huts so we're not totally out of the out of hope yet here for maintaining this thing. So we'll try these. Okay, we're getting that ominous music here. Oh yeah. Music in this game is so good. Okay, whoa, 100%. All right, we're solid. I mean, there's definitely more repairs I could be doing to some of this stuff, but let's look. Oh, I love that bonus to the carry weight. That's the real reason to do the well-fed, no doubt about it. I mean, you're, the little extra health is cool too, but the carry weight, mm, 
that's what you want. All right, so I say as long as there's no storm out here, we're moving on. Oh, let me take a big gulp of water. There's a little bit of a storm, but we can still see, so... Oh, I'm definitely going to lose lose my warmth here pretty quickly. Oh, I hate walking against the wind. All right, so let's see. Let me, let me get a good vantage here. I think there's one more. I know the bear is potentially below us, but... Is this the only fishing hut over here? I think this is the one farthest to this side of the map, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to make this our first stop. Scale down here. I'm always crouching, trying to go at an angle down these really steep hills. No, just take your time. Take your time. There's no bears. Could be a bear. I don't know. There may be a bear, but uh, I'm just going to run. Honestly, I'd rather encounter a bear any day over the wolves. Okay, yeah, we're fine. No other fishing huts. So from here... Oh, Christ, there's a lot of wolves. Uh, so from here, we will head... Oh, God, I don't know. Now look at this weather. It's making visibility very poor. Did we hit that one? God, this is the problem with going out of order with these huts, as I always forget. Which ones I've re looked at. Ugh, gross. Can't eat spray paint. Oh, redstone. Well, I'll take it. I don't think I did. Well, I'm certainly not going that way, so we're just going to head towards this one. We'll see. Okay, looks like... Oh, I was going to say, I think the door's closed, but there is no door. <laughs> we'll check it, but I'm fairly certain that one over there has not been searched. So that's going to be our next stop. Plus, it'll take us closer to the road. Oh, crap, I think I did. No, no, I didn't. I'm actually gaining temperature right now, so that's pretty sweet. Damn. Nothing, literally nothing. That's a bummer. All right, we're headed to the next one. Okay, we are in very serious danger of losing that well-fed bonus, but I'm doing my best. I'm a little bit nervous about heading out into the lake right now because of this weather. Just the visibility, you know. It gets much worse. We could get stuck out here. Worst place to be on this or is on this lake in one of these whiteouts. Man, bunk. So, I know that there's some more... Uh, fishing hunts in this direction. I do need to search. This one I might have already checked, but I'm going to head there. Visibility's not terrible. I can still see. I was kind of hoping to like hug the road and just follow along. Because at this point, there's not much left here to search on the coastal highway. So my mind is now set towards leaving this region or this area. But uh, So we're going to make our way to the edge of the map over there where the little river, or it's more like a creek goes up into the woods. So I'm gonna follow that and just pick every cattail along that route. But there is a, stop, a spot we can stop and sleep because it's getting late. I don't think we're gonna make it out of here today. I'm gonna need to stop and sleep. I also don't think I'm gonna make this well-fed bonus. I mean, I have one more can of peaches, but that's literally it. So I might be, you think that's a, that, you know what? That's a deer over there. Those birds. See the birds? It's a carcass. Like, oh man, I bet you I could go over there and harvest that. Question is, would one can of peaches even be enough to maintain me through that harvesting process and cooking? What? I don't want that. Jeez, what is that? Oh, well, small arms book doesn't help necessarily except for burning wood, burning it. But, um, all right, so that one I've definitely checked, right? I don't know. Let's, oh, hold on. I got an idea. <gasps> See the wolf? Watch this. Watch this. Okay, hold on. We're going to scare this deer into the wolf, hopefully. That would be amazing. Oh, if I could get a full kill. Oh, what the? I uh, probably walked and saw me. Damn it, I should have crouched while I was eating. Shoot. And he ran in the total wrong direction. There's the wolf. Hold on. Let's, I'm not giving up here. We're going to try this still. Damn, if only I had a bow and arrow, right? 
This is a crazy spot for this deer to be. Don't! Ugh, okay, I screwed that up. Um, well, here's the bad part, though, is I, I really can't go towards that fishing hut. Not with that wolf out there. Seriously trying to avoid using another match right now. Although I really shouldn't be worried about it. I've got so many darn matches, but... You know, for long-term survival, every one of those is critical. Alright, so this looks rancid to me. Oh, I don't even have a tool for it. That's crazy. Yeah, wow, we can't use our pry bar, I guess. So, well, there goes that whole idea. Oh, it's a bummer. Say goodbye to the well-fed bonus, guys. Oh, crap, guys. I was just coming over. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Where's that deer? Oh, it's all the way back out there now. Damn, I should have kept scaring it over in this direction. Where is it? There he is. Now I'm gonna... Maybe I can throw a rock. Let's see if that'll work. Okay, interesting. He's going out there now. Is that another wolf? Oh, the other wolf's right there. Shoot. Well, that's not great. Um, I mean, temperature-wise, I'm okay right now. I can play around here, but I think we ought to move on. I don't want to push my luck. You know how the weather is. You can change on a dime. Is that another fishing hut right there? No. I think that's a rock. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's one more fishing hut I need to get to. And I think it's right there. It's hard to, hard to see out here, isn't it? Uh, it's pretty dangerous going for it, too, to be honest. I wish there was a compass in this game. But if I get out here and it gets really, really hard to see, this this could be life and death. Oh, Christ, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going out there. I feel like it was starting to get thicker as I walked deeper out there. Right? The good news is that the the little creek that I was talking about is literally, like, right over there. So once I've looted this, I'm just boom, hopping to that location. All right, I'm gonna stop being a coward. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, well, I'm glad I decided to come out here because there's a second hut that I forgot about. But yeah, this is perfect because it takes us right to where we need to go. So let's hit these two. Hopefully we'll get some food. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking, because like I said, there's gonna be a bunch of cattails over there, at least 30. And that might be enough to keep this well-fed bonus going, baby. We're going to try. Oh, I've already searched this one. Oh, no. Yep. All right. Whoopsie. I knew there was a couple over here that I'd searched. This one I'm 99% sure I haven't searched yet. Okay. Nope. Now I remember I have searched that one because we're over here. Yeah, we're not quite where I thought I was. I got confused, I guess. But um, that's okay. We just got a little bit of a walk to go. The exit is over that way. Yeah, I was thinking this was the bridge region, but no big deal. No big deal. This is going to be it for Coastal Highway, though. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is walk that creek. There's potential to run into a bear up there, but um, like I said, I'd rather encounter... Oh, there's the... I knew that there was one more fishing shack. There it is. All right, let's... Ooh. Oh, thank God that's a deer. All right, let's check this fishing shack here. All right, here we go. I think this one actually used to have a potential for the heavy hammer to spawn here. I don't know if that's true anymore, though. Oh, God, you know what? I got to get over there and get some cattails right away, don't I? Otherwise, we will lose our well-fed bonus. I have no food now. Zilcho, just the drinks. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to walk. The good news is it's right here, so we're just going to follow this bridge straight up there, guys. Like I said, it's pretty boring, so I'm going to probably just go ahead and harvest these cattails. When we start the next episode, we'll be up there at the cabin, ready for a good night's sleep with a full belly full of cattail stalks. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the Long Dork series. I'm certainly enjoying bringing it to you. I love playing this game, even though it is hecka challenging. So, if you guys are interested in picking this up, there's a link to the Steam page down below in the description. So, check that out, guys. I appreciate y'all. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.